Good morning guys, this is Mission One Life. Just about a week ago, we started donations to raise funds to build a family a new home. I'm inside that home right now. They've already emptied it out and got it ready, and got it ready for me to tear down. We ordered the materials this morning and in one week, because of a very small handful of donors who gave very generously, we're gonna build this family a new home. So thank you so much guys on behalf of the family. We're gonna get them a place to get into that's dry, comfortable and safe before Christmas and hopefully in the next few days. So again, thank you so much and it's gonna feel good to tear it down. Let's get going. guys as you can see behind me we got a lot done today and I had some great help the guys behind me Joma and your name Otto they are relatives of this family and they they absolutely worked their tail off today helping get this done so the big stuff is done we just got to frame up the walls tomorrow and put the roof on and it'll be done it always takes a little longer to do the foundation get everything I'll say level but it's probably not exactly level but it's gonna turn out good. It's strong and a lot of extra nails. So thank you guys. And we'll catch you up before we get tomorrow. Thank you. Hey guys, it is day two and we are 97% done. Just going to build the door tomorrow, hang it, cut out some windows and put the screen and just build a few things inside, shelves and that. So I'll give you guys a look. But it was a good day, a lot done and finish up early tomorrow. So gonna make this happen for this family. Thanks guys. Thank you. Good morning guys. And as you can see behind me, the home is 99%. So I just wanted to show you guys the house. Again, keep in mind that by all American standards, this is a shed and not even a fancy shed, just a basic shed. But compared to what they were in before, it is, it's luxury and that feels really good so it was just done with wood it had to be built it had to be built semi temporary because the family does not own the property it is their extended family's property so we had to get permission to do that and it couldn't be built in a permanent way so that means no concrete no cinder block no septic tank which took out the toilet and bathroom and kitchen sink, which made this project much cheaper than I thought it would be. So any extra money, I wanna put out a vote to, the, to those who have gave and let them decide if they want to put that towards another home or towards the Christmas event that we're gonna be having like we had last year. So let's show you the house. And I just wanna say again, thank you so much on behalf of the family for giving them a safe, dry and comfortable place to sleep at night. So here we go. 
So as you can see, it's just a metal roof and it is kind of done by the American standard of 16 on center, one inch plywood for the floor, and we just went with three quarter inch plywood on the walls. So we just used screen to give them some ventilation and some sort of light and a window, a little outside table for them to do their cooking on. And inside we just put a few shelves and because they sleep on the floor, we really couldn't build much in here because they need the space. They need the space for their three children and the husband and wife to be able to sleep at night. We kept this side open because both the roofs from the house, from the adjoining house next door, cover so no rain will get through there. With some extra wood, we just put in some basic shelves for them to be able to put a few things and also up here up top. Again, guys, thank you so much. There was a very small handful of donors on this one, but they gave so generously. You guys gave so generously, and I thank you so much. Take pride in what you guys did, and it was such a humbling and special experience for me to be a part of this. Thank you, guys. Mission one.